Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 28th, 2023. Well, yesterday, those bulls just kept right on pushing to the upside, as I kind of suggested that possibility uh, to be the case, uh, because they really want to make uh, new record highs on the S&P 500 before the end of the year. We'll see if they can get that done. Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Um, Asian markets did pretty good last night. Um, only the Nikkei was down and um, we had everything else over there in the Asian economies moving to the upside last night. Uh, European markets, however, are down across the board this morning, feeling just a little bit of um, bearishness, um, probably from just these heights that we're at a little bit of rest or pullback uh, maybe coming over there in European markets. And then here in the U.S., we also have a mix of data where we've got um, the Dow S&P 500 looking um, a little bit lower while we have the NASDAQ still trying to push to the upside. We're going to need, I think, those big tech giants to really push if we're going to get that S&P 500 breakout here uh, before the end of the year. Let's um, take a look. We've got um, oil prices here this morning are a little bit lower. They moved down yesterday, but we still have those fears um, over there uh, in the Middle East, those tensions in the Red Sea raising prices on container ships and um, just causing a general unrest over there. Um, and that'll be interesting today with our um, numbers on oil. So we'll wanna be watching that today. And then if we take a look at our bond prices, our bond prices have been easing off nicely, but we're seeing them maybe tick just a little bit higher here this morning. 30 year bond ticking back up just a little bit to 3.97%. The 10 years at 3.81%. The two year is at 4.26%. So just ticking a little bit higher here this morning as we wind down this uh, trading week. Let's um, take a peek at our charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. So buckle up, settle in, and Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, this is the final Morning Market Prep video for 2023. It's been a great year. I want to say thank you to everyone. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, that in and of itself is a reminder there will not be a video tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I am um, going to be pulling a trailer to Des Moines, Iowa uh, tomorrow, helping um, a, a family friend, um, honestly, my second mom, um, to move. And so I'm going to be very, very busy uh, tomorrow, but Rightway Options, um, all of our services at the Hit and Run Candlesticks website will be closed tomorrow um, for the holiday. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at um, the markets here and see if we can figure out how we might want to engage trying to shake off a little bit of bias here um, in, in the charts. You can see we were very, very bullish, just continuing to trend, 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 trend. We're also extremely parabolic in this move. Uh, diamonds at a breakout high, so we've got blue sky above here. If we can continue to see those bulls push through, and there's every reason to believe they can, four days in a row now, um, squeezing to the upside. Now, we did have a little bit improvement in volume here on the diamond yesterday as they pushed. So keep an eye on that. We may still have that chance that we can stretch on higher here in through the first of the year. Um, but one of the things that we do want to be watching for because we are so extended is that potential pullback. Now, if 
if that pullback does occur, we've created a little bit of price support right in here. So we could pull back into there, but I want you to notice that that would potentially break that upside trend that we've been squeezing here in um, the market. Now that doesn't mean anything if we break it and bounce right back, but if we were to break it and push on lower and hit some of these lower um, areas of the chart and just realize that would be a very big point move that pushes us back down below that candle. If you guys remember, this was nearly a 500 point day um, in and of itself. So we'll want to watch that carefully. If those bears do pick up, we could see some big point moves to the downside. So remember, raise those stop losses. So we've been just unbelievably bullish in this market, pushing these um, prices really, really high um, all at once. So just remember that exuberance, sometimes it gets knocked down really fast when the selling starts. So just be prepared in case that occurs. If we um, take a look at our SPY, this is the one that I think that we're going to be pushing and pushing and pushing to squeeze this one today. And it's really going to take um, um, probably the big tech giants to, to get moving to make that happen. So watch this carefully here. This um, would represent the all time highs here. And we're just hovering below that trying to push up here this morning, even though our future futures are just a tiny bit lower. Um, they um, push this higher um, overnight. So watch that carefully. See if we can squeeze this out. They can get that record high. I think at that point in time, I think anything is possible here because we are so very extended in these charts. So just remember, we can pop through, get that headline that they want, and then we could soon see um, a pullback or a rest begin in the market. So if the bulls continue to, to find that way to, to fight this through, um, we'll want to watch for that resistance level up here. And if the bears start coming back in, well, let's watch for a little bit of price support, maybe down in this area. And if that were to break, maybe down in this area and just remember how painful that was that afternoon sell-off that we had was a pretty steep sell-off and that would push us back down toward this trend and maybe we can hold some support levels in that area if we take a look at our qqq our qqq struggled um maybe just a little tiny bit yesterday because some of the big tech giants were were faltering um there yesterday but you can see continuing to stretch on higher and they're pumping here on the qqq this morning and i think really looking for those big tech giants to bounce um, hard here today to try and give us that opportunity for that S&P 500 new record high. Now that being said, this would be basically the fifth day um, up in that chart. Again, we're very, very parabolic in our moves here on the NASDAQ. So you'll wanna watch that closely. Um, blue sky above here in the QQQ. So if the bears come in, well, you can see maybe a pullback into here that would be a test of that all-time high breakout in the queues. Well, wait a second, is that right? Yeah, that all-time high breakout in the queues. So watch that carefully for a pullback into here. And if that were to fail, then that possibility that we're gonna push on down and maybe test these next levels of support, perhaps even that, uh, that big ugly candle right there. And maybe even the trend will be tested here soon. So watch that close. And then IWM, IWM continues to be um, extremely parabolic. You notice that this has just gone straight up. It's feeling just a little bit of selling pressure here this morning, uh, not a lot. And I think if we can continue to push and get that record high, we could easily see IWM stretch on up. Notice we have a substantial resistance level in this chart. And um, we also have a situation where um, the, the IWM um, really, I shouldn't say that there's no chance, but highly unlikely that IWM is going to make it up through a new record highs here by the end of the year. I mean, extremely unlikely. So 
um, just kind of keep that in mind. The biggest index in the market continuing to lag way behind and is also extremely extended. So any kind of bullishness, we might push up here to test that resistance in the chart. Any kind of bearishness, we might push on back, test some of these levels in the chart and maybe even coming in and breaking this trend this really steep upside trend and maybe we come back and test one of these trends that are a little bit less aggressive um, in IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday pulled on back. Um, again, we've been trying to just really show that we have no fear of anything here in the market. We're st staying very complacent here overall in the VIX. Um, we did break that downtrend to the upside and now we're pulling back to see um, if we're gonna test and hold these support levels in the chart and hold that downtrend break um, on uh, well, what could be if the bears get going because we're so extended, you could really see a lot of folks sell um, quickly if the selling starts. So watch this carefully. Remember, uh, the real worry in the VIX is always when we make the higher low. If we push this on back down, then no worries. So if the bulls maintain that control and we push this on through that downtrend, no particular worries here, but it's when we hold that higher low, when we start to see that fear come in. And we may, um, we may actually see that here in the very near future, just from the over, overbought condition here in the market. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, um, obviously very extended. And yesterday we pulled back just a little tiny bit um, on this. Notice that we ended up closing the day at 96.62. They have squeezed and squeezed and squeezed to um, keep this elevated into the end of the year. So watch that carefully. What it means is we don't have a whole lot of upside opportunity here in the market, but we certainly have an awful lot of downside opportunity in that T2122 if the bears find some reason for inspiration. So watch that carefully. Now, again, I still think they're going to try really, really hard by the end of the year to put that S&P 500 into a new record high before um, institutions allow anything to sell off. And remember, volumes are likely to be light again today. As a matter of fact, after we get through the morning data, look for volumes to really plummet because everyone's going to be thinking about um, the holiday and um, we've got an early close, uh, some of the markets on Friday. So just look for those volume levels to really start dropping off as traders um, extend their holiday uh, vacation plans. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our uh, T2108, T2108, the percentage of stocks above their 40-day moving average, pulled back just ever so slightly. But the thing you really want to notice here is that we are extremely elevated here. Um, it's a rare occasion when we can go beyond this 80% area and hold it. Um, we still have that little bit of upside that we could squeeze to get that S&P 500 record, but just kind of keep that in mind. It's very rare that we can stay up here um, without some kind of at least a substantial consolidation, if not a um, straight on pullback. So watch carefully here on T2108 and then T2107, very much the same here in this chart, extremely elevated. You can see it did tick just a little tiny bit higher. Once we reach up here into that 65 area, we start reaching that very, very frothy point in um, percentage of stocks above the 200. So watch that carefully. Um, we could get that consolidation or pullback to occur at any time. So raise those stops and make sure you're protecting yourself. Uh, T2101 actually had that little bit of a hook yesterday showing that market breadth was declining just ever so slightly. We may need to see that surge back higher here if we're gonna get that new record high in the S&P 
500. But watch carefully if this continues to fade. As a matter of fact, I think there's a really good chance this could fade dramatically um, next year um, for um, before we go into um, earnings. Um, which is going to be, you know, about a couple of weeks after the first of the year. So we could see um, this um, market breadth really fade. And one of the reasons is um, institutions are going to be locked down in their um, companies, I should say, will be locked down in their blackout period, unable to buy up their own stock or do much of anything. Um, waiting for their earnings report. So just kind of keep in mind, we could really start to see this fade off. And that might mean just a consolidation in the market, if not a full on pullback. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, this is our busiest day on that calendar. We've got international trade and goods here this morning. They are expecting that to maintain a very substantial trade deficit. Um, nobody seems to care about that, but um, that's the case. We've got jobless claims. That'll be interesting today. Um, they're expecting 210,000 on the jobless claims. We'll want to watch that. I do think there's a chance we could start to see those claims tick up here soon. In fact, I think we might someday get a pretty big surprise um, on that tick up here. But for now, um, Watch that carefully here today. Um, not expecting much in that number. We got retail and wholesale inventories. Um, probably not going to pay much attention to those today. Pending home sales uh, will be important. Pending home sales, if I remember correctly, I looked at this. Consensus is looking for that to improve. Um, you can see here to a 0.8 from a negative 0.1. So keep an eye on that one. That could provide some bullish inspiration here today. Natural gas and petroleum status. And that petroleum number could be important to those um, energy prices that have been creeping up. So we'll want to watch that carefully. And then we've got some bond auctions and a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day that no one's going to be paying much attention to. When we look at Friday, you'll notice here um, SIFMA early close 2 p.m. Eastern to tomorrow. So you'll want to be uh, paying attention to that. Volumes will likely be extremely light after a little bit of morning volatility. Um, keep in mind, we've got Chicago PMI that will be coming out uh, Friday morning. So watch that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And, and you know, as I mentioned yesterday, there are no notable earnings um, for the rest of this week. As a matter of fact, um, no confirmed earnings at all today. So just kind of keep that in mind. We don't have a whole lot on that uh, nothing on that earnings front to provide much inspiration. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, um, then do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And thank you for all the kind comments yesterday on that little bit different video that I put together. Um, um, thank you so much. Can keep those things in mind as we move into the new year. Well, first off, let's take a look. Um, Tesla had a pretty good day yesterday. As you guys um, probably noted, I had this um, alert on Tesla popping right on through there yesterday pushing on up it's continuing to extend today watch this area up here of resistance in the chart but Tesla looking very good one of the techs that um, looking pretty darn good if we take a look at Apple um, Apple was going down yesterday and then they got the court to rule um, um, for in their favor to allow them to continue to sell their watch and that brought it back here. So let's watch that carefully. It's a temporary stay on that so they can still um, sell watches throughout the end of the year here on a holiday basis. So watch that carefully. Um, 
if it can hold this support, that may start pushing back up and that's certainly gonna help that opportunity for the S&P 500 to break to new highs. Google also had kind of a rough day yesterday. We had popped through this big resistance area in the chart and put in a shooting star and then yesterday appeared to reject that area of support. But you can see they're already trying to pump here in the pre-market on Google. Again, we're gonna need those big techs to get the SPY pushed up there. So watch um, institutionally as they do everything that they can to get that headline here over the next couple of days. Google, keep an eye on that. This is a little bit of a concern though, rejecting that level up there. Um, Intel continues to stretch big time here, just really straight up right now. Look for a little rest or pull back in here, but Intel extremely strong, even as it's pushing into this major congestion area of the market. They got a big government um, funding um, uh, out of Israel um, so taxpayer funding on this to build a new facility and um, that continues to inspire that to move higher here so keep an eye on Intel you um, may also want to be keeping an eye on AMD AMD has been stretching here nicely to the upside um, heading in toward these all-time highs so keep an eye on AMD as anything that talks about AI um, just can't seem to do anything wrong now the question will be can they hold these prices once we get to earnings that'll be that'll be the major question so watch that carefully in AMD other places you might want to look boy the US dollar has been showing just tremendous weakness take a look here in UUP just falling like a rock here as our bond yields continue to pull back now I mentioned this morning bond yields ticking back higher just a little bit so if you're in a trade um, um, in the bond area like I am in TLT. TLT is getting a little bit of a pullback here this morning with those bond yields taking just a little bit higher. And I would say, you know, after breaking through this resistance up here, really good possibility of a consolidation or rest. Even a pullback would not be out of the question. This is a very parabolic run to the upside. So watch carefully for that possibility maybe as we head into the new year. Take a look at stocks like Honeywell. There's my alert there on Honeywell. That just moves straight on through right to the next resistance and now this morning maybe getting just a little bit of pullback here in the pre-market watch that carefully Honeywell staying very very strong strong if it can break through this resistance up here then once again let's look to to see if we can attack these next levels above looking very bullish here take a look at Walmart Walmart uh, moving back up here strongly the last few days possible an inverted head and shoulders pattern here in the chart but i want to point out here in walmart we're going to be running into a significant level of price resistance in the chart and not only that we're also going to be running into that 50-day moving average as resistance so you'll want to keep an eye on that if this resistance holds and if we were to fail here at the 50-day um, uh, still a possibility that I would watch carefully for on Walmart so keep a close eye on that one um, PLTR is another that really is looking like a potential short could occur here um, we failed at that resistance in the chart notice we had that head and shoulders pattern here that created whoops created that failure in here that old head and shoulders and now we have that possibility of doing it again right in here so watch that carefully if that extends on down kind of a dark cloud cover yesterday watch that carefully on PLTR and there are a few stocks starting to show that little hint of bearishness in the market I do think it's worth kind of paying attention to and keeping an eye on 3M however is not one of those 3M uh, pushing on through my alert and stretching on up here and as you can see breaking this major downtrend 
any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there in 3M. I would keep a close eye on that. And then, as you know, I mentioned Chewy yesterday needs a little bit of rest or pullback, but boy, they weren't willing to do that yesterday. Pushing that right back up, this could just continue to extend and it's a very uh, parabolic move to the upside. Keeping in mind this big downtrend and some, some some substantial resistance will be coming into play here relatively soon if we can continue that stretch. So watch carefully in Chewy. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, I want to wish you great results in your trading. Um, I apologize that I'm going to be out of here tomorrow and miss the last trading day of the year, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to miss too much. And um, I want to wish you all a very safe and a wonderful New Year um, celebration wherever you're going to be. So Happy New Year to everyone. Wish you all of the best. And I'll see you right back here bright and early next year. Take care, everyone.